Now to downtown Denver in a spot that hosts some of the state's biggest events, but Civic Center Park, as we all know, has endured its share of problems the last few years. Yeah, the Civic Center Conservancy has a has it made its mission to get the park back on its feet, and that means Independence Eve is back. Michelle Griego took a walk with the man in charge of those efforts to show us the recovery. What have the last couple of years been like? Yeah, you know, the last couple of years has been challenging. You know, certainly for Civic Center, you know, what we saw is when a public space is not used, when it's not intentionally managed, intentionally activated, um, we saw negative activity, illegal activity, move into the park. And that became challenging because the park got out of balance. And people that were visiting the art museum or the library didn't feel safe coming to the park. People that were coming down for Civic Center Eats didn't feel safe because an illegal, uh, illegal activities had moved into the park. Uh, what do you tell people who may be iffy about coming down here now? Yeah, no, I think that's, that's a real thing is, you know, the past two years, the media image of Civic Center Park has been the George Floyd uh, rallies. It has been the issues with drug use and things like that. And, you know, what it is right now is, you know, you can look around, you can see that it's beautiful. It, it's it's clean. It, it's the city is taking care of it. The conservancy is taking care of it. It's full of life and activity. I, I'll say the calendar in, tw in 20, 2022 here is almost back to where we were in 2019 with activities every weekend, activities during the week. But what we've seen is an outgrowth of that is really solidifying the partnership between the conservancy and this space in the city to really make sure it is a place that is managed with intention, that is activated with intention. And so it is a place full of life and it's a place that has recovered from the challenges um, that it suffered. And it's certainly our invitation to the community is come down and experience it because I think you'll be blown away as to what you see. I'm Michelle Griego covering Colorado First. Well, that makes you want to head down there, doesn't it? Michelle mm -hmm. and Dominic are the host for the free concert and the fireworks show. Starts at 5 o'clock Sunday evening. If you can't make it to the park, we sure hope you'll join us live as we stream all those festivities on CBS News Colorado. And